We are off to the coffee shop to go get uh, some work done. I don't really know what we're gonna vlog. All right, it's eight o'clock in the morning and I just emailed out my list, um, vlog number one, so I'm really excited about that. And I'm about to go for a run right now. So um, one of the things that we're gonna spend the rest of today doing is going over copy and messaging. Now, I know that we've been, in the last vlog, we said that we were gonna get that dialed in, um, but really it's the foundation of your entire launch and most people don't really get that or understand that. Like, if you're gonna sell online, you need to know who, what your offer is, what your offer is all about, um, how it's gonna solve people's problems, and then the messaging from the very beginning stages all the way to when you make the offer. And we had some really good copy, but it was not aligned, uh, how we were bringing people in in the beginning was not aligned with what the offer was. And I realized that yesterday, so Marley and I had a call to like reconstruct the copy um, and the messaging behind everything. So, uh, so, I'm gonna play that for you guys here in a second so you guys can watch behind the scenes of our call and then how we're gonna restructure the, the messaging. And then the rest of today is gonna to be me probably going to like a cafe or somewhere, a little coffee shop and um, hunkering down and just banging out the rest of the copy, emails and opt-in pages and um, the sales page and get as much of that done as, as I possibly can because I'm getting a little overwhelmed. I have my event um, in like nine days. I still have to create the content for that and um, and then we got the launch and then I'm leaving in about a week and a half for Thanksgiving. So we got a lot to do. Um, so anyways, I'm gonna go run. Here's the, here's the footage. <laughs> here's the footage. Uh, again, another reason why I need an office. I can't work from home anymore. I'm in my backyard right now. Um, so anyways, I'm gonna go run. You guys can watch the messaging call with Marley yesterday and then we'll meet back up. Boom. All right, so it's 8.30 in the morning, 8.38 to be exact. Um, Marley and I have another call, and today we're gonna talk more about the messaging because I had some breakthroughs, which Marley does not know about yet. So let's, uh, let's hop on the call. Oh, also, <laughs> vlog number one is rendering out. Vlogging you, vlogging me. <laughs> <laughs> vlog inception. <laughs> we look like freaks just like pointing the cameras like at each other. Oh my god. Update, I didn't get all the copying stuff done yesterday because I started thinking about the messaging that we were going to do with the ad priming. Um, and I kind of feel like the way I was going, the direction I was going with, with the whole ad priming concept didn't play into what the offer was at the end of the launch, which is like how to do Facebook ads to, to launch. So I was, I was focusing on like ad priming, how to get lower cost leads and how to do all this and blah, 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 blah. And I feel like people entering the funnel, it would have been a really hard trend. It would have been a really difficult transition to go from like, here's how you get lower cost leads to da, da, da. now let me teach you how to launch using Facebook ads. Right. So uh, this morning I thought about it and I'm thinking, what if we used, we still use the ad priming concept, but it was all around how to, how to launch and using Facebook ads. Cause essentially that's what we're doing. We're teaching people how to, do a complete like six figure launch, how to set up your ads, where to place them, how to do the remarketing, how to do your messaging, how to use video to like build those audiences and stuff like that. So, I mean, how do you feel? Cause I feel like if we, we use ad priming and it's all about launching and Facebook ads and how to set it up and build audiences at the same time, that's a much smoother transition to the offer than just be like, Here's ad priming, how to lower your ad costs. And then it's like, cool, let us show you how to launch with, it, like it, there was a disconnect there. That makes sense. Yeah, so, that makes sense. We need to show it. Okay, so I'm gonna work on that today then, um, which means some of the work you did yesterday might have been a waste of time, sorry. Um, so what I'm thinking is, I don't think we need separate opt-in pages and stuff. I think we can just use one and we'll just use ad priming as the slogan and then we'll come up with the new USB. The USB will, will almost be the same as what we had before. Um, just tweak it. So so I think what I'll do is I'll just go into lead pages, I'll redo it all. 
Um, and then we'll just use, and I'll, I, I could set up the split test too, so you don't have to do it. And then I'll just put that on the server. And hopefully by the end of today, we'll be good to go with the opt-in pages and stuff. And then, um, and then my next task will be the, the sales page. I've been putting off the sales page. I'm not clear on the, the messaging yet. So I'm kind of like, but I think I have it under control now. Um, so I think that's it on my end. We're going to get vlog number one up today. We're going to start running ads, running it as an ad to build audiences for that brand. Um, I'm probably going to set up that social proof ad and the uh, business rockstar one. I think that's it. Okay, that sounds good. It's a pretty boring day for me. Eight miles, 6.56 pace, pretty good. Getting ready for a half marathon we got in, uh, in a couple months. So um, I'm gonna shower, we're gonna head over to the coffee shop. Hopefully that uh, the footage from yesterday was helpful with the uh, messaging. Um, so we're gonna be working on that today. Kind of a boring vlog, but, uh, but it's necessary. Messaging is necessary. So uh, I'm gonna shower and we'll head over there. got home and I think I was there for like, I don't know, three or four hours, but we got it dialed in. I just had a call with my uh, sales coach and mentor, Jim Fortin, to finalize the copy. And I think we got the messaging dialed in. So I'm gonna take a little bit of a break right now. And then I'll go over the copy with you to let you see what we came up with. But I also want your opinion on, does it good, is it good enough? Does it pull you in? Um, do I need to completely redo it? Uh, but hopefully now you're seeing how important copy is and or at least the messaging of everything because you want to look at like what do they need to realize and what kind of state awareness do they need to be in when they buy and then how do you get them through that everything from your pre-launch journey to the ads to the headlines to the opt-in pages to uh, the webinar to the sales page all needs to be consistent and have each step needs to have that that same message but bring people to a new awareness as they get to the sales page so um, i think we have the overall theme down so uh, i'm gonna take a little bit of a break and then we'll go over copy and i'll share it with you right now all right i took a little bit of a longer break than i wanted it's actually nighttime now but we um i think we got it so close we're like 99 percent done copy so um, I don't know what the best way to do this is. Should I read it or just show it? Maybe I'll do both. All right, you can see how many different headlines. <laughs> I went through a lot of headlines. These are the headlines that are supposed to be underneath the ads. Get audiences sold before you sell, building out, like just so many. Um, but the one I think we decided on is this one. New training, ad priming, build fast audiences that want your product before you sell it. Um, no, that's not what we decided on. We actually decided on this one. Which is, where'd it go? Oh yeah. Build audiences three times faster that want your product before you launch or sell. It. There we go. Um, and then copy goes, as you know, ad costs are rising fast and your business could suffer. Uh, so we lead in with a huge pain, pain point, uh, and a survival pain point. So I felt that was pretty strong. Let's do a quick test. So we're, we're actually testing a new format right now where um, it's not my normal format. It's more of like a creative type thing that like kind of raises curiosity and brings people in. Uh, so let's do a quick test. Imagine you were trying to sell a program on hot yoga so people could do it at home. Which scenario do you think would, would bring you more sales? Scenario A, you want to get people registered for your webinar, video series, or challenge, etc. So you run ads to your current audience. You also target people who have never heard of you but have an interest in hot yoga. During the sales process, you give some free training, try to build trust and establish yourself as the authority. Then you make an offer for your product, hoping 
they want to do hot yoga and we'll buy it. And then, uh, or you decide to build authority and trust before you tell anyone that you have a webinar, video series, challenge, etc. So you spend two to three weeks running specific hot yoga content to your target market for around a penny per person. You build a quick audience and establish trust, authority, and you put a desire for hot yoga in their head. After you built up that quick audience, you only run ads to those people and send them down your sales process, making them the same offer. So which one do you think brings in more sales? I'm assuming you chose B, right? Let me go to the next part. This is called ad priming. It allows you to build quick audiences and causes people to want your product or service before you launch it to them. You get lower cost leads and higher sales conversions. We've been using it to sell digital courses, programs, live boot camps, local business offers, and services, both in launch and evergreen formats. It allows you to it allows us to keep our cost. And I should actually change that to you. It allows you, not us, you, to keep your to keep your cost per lead really low while everyone else is seeing rising ad costs, putting their business in danger. Again, another fear. And the best part is, is that you can do this roughly for a few pennies per person, allowing you to build a big following and sell at the same time while lowering ad cost. Um, if you want to see some of the specific videos and formats we ran to ad prime our audiences and see how we set up these ads for most, our most successful launches, then register for the upcoming webinar. Just click the ad, enter info, and I'll see you there. So the idea here is to introduce a brand new concept, a concept that separates us from everyone else is completely different. And what we're selling is our Facebook video ads bootcamp. But we're talking about, we coined the term ad priming, which is talking about building audiences three times faster. Now it's gonna want your product or service because that's essentially what we do. And then we remarket to those people. But when they get on the webinar and go down our sales funnel, uh, essentially what we're gonna do is introduce the idea um, a video like the easiest way to add prime is to use video and we're gonna go through Video and building audiences and how to set up all of your Facebook ads to have most successful launches and evergreen funnels and sell your products and all that stuff so So that's the copy hopefully the autofocus on this camera wasn't too bad during that, but um That's it. It's now Thursday and um, We'll vlog again soon uh, but Really, in my opinion, the hardest part of the entire launch is is done. Our video ads are almost ready. I'll show this to you guys when we're ready. But um, uh, the next vlog is probably going to be us showing you video ads. So um, questions, comments, leave them below. And we'll see you guys on the next vlog.